and hello everybody welcome to this tutorial where i will show you how to install pokemon heart gold iron man together with this tracker i will show you how to get the iron man file how to randomize it how to get the tracker and how to re-randomize every single time you lose a run so i'm making this tutorial because when i downloaded this for my streams which are by the way on twitch.tv slash square root of potato I found it extremely confusing how to actually set everything up and I found there weren't many good guides. So I'm going to make one now and you want to start off with downloading the BizHawk emulator as you can see right here. Now you will think why not the Smoom? Well that's what I did. The Smoom does not work. It's like the, the, the one I always use to play my games. It doesn't work. You need BizHawk. So I will leave a link in the description of course like I will do with every link that I will mention in this video. You want to go to downloads um, and you want to go right here and download the zip file right here. You want to download that and that should be all for now. So the next place you want to go to when you download the BizHawk emulator is right here. Many of these will be on GitHub. As you can see, it's a patch to turn hard gold into Iron Man hard gold. Now, you will need before this a legal copy of Pokemon Heart Gold. Soul Silver does not work properly. I use Heart Gold. Um, now, I, because of legal reasons, I have to say you have to obtain this copy legally, but we all know what you're gonna do. So, you then wanna come over to this website, scroll all the way down, click on this link, and you wanna, it's in Dutch for me, um, this says upload file. You wanna click here. Um, I'm not gonna do that now because I don't have my Heart Gold file. You wanna click here. And then just click your hard code file that you legally obtained onto your PC. So what you want to do now is back on this page, over to the right, you will see it says releases. Now this is the latest release, August 14, 2023. You want to click that, scroll down, and they will ask you to download one of these Delta files. Now I'm going to be honest, I don't know what the difference is between these Delta files. The one I downloaded is this one. This works fine for me. If anyone knows what actually the difference is, be sure to let me know. So you just want to click that, you want to download it, there you go. You then want to go to this link where we were earlier, I guess you could also exit it from here. Again, ROM file, I know it's in Dutch, it, it says upload file, you want to click that, you want to you upload your file, as you can see now, it will say file is too big, that's fine, just click force calculate checksum. What that means, I don't know, but it worked for me, okay. Now next, patch file. Again, it says upload file. What you wanna upload here is the X Delta file you just downloaded. So we uploaded both the files. As you can see, a .x Delta file, it has to be X Delta, and a .nds file, my legal Pokemon hard gold file. Then wanna click apply patch, and you wanna save it wherever you want. Okay, so I put both of those files, our BizHawk and our new um, Nintendo DS file into a folder. Um, Right now, you have the Iron Man file. So, if you open emo, um, this thing, BizHawk, I forgot the name for a second, I'm gonna go over here to emohawk.exe. I wanna click it. It takes a few seconds to load. Um, and you should now, if you're here, be able to just drag it in or go via file. And this should be the Iron Man file. So, as you can hear, actually, I don't know if there's any sound. I hope it's not too loud if there is any sound. sound. Um, Yes, as you can see, it says Iron Man, so you officially have Iron Man. Now, what we want to do next is add the tracker. Close this. Okay. What we want to do next is add the tracker and actually randomize our game. Now, the next part, the part where most people probably had issues, is the infamous installation guide, again on GitHub. Now, I will leave a link to this guide, um, because it is very helpful, but there is a big... There's, there's not a mistake, but it's just, in my opinion, not really told well why your um, tracker will not work because if you read all of this you will see go to uh, the release um, the latest release that's all fine only problem is is those um, trackers are just for um, Game Boy games so we are playing hard gold uh, so I did some digging and this was my main issue I couldn't figure this out and then I found out that Brian over here a good friend Brian I made one for specifically Nintendo DS Iron Man tracker. So I will also leave a link to this site. I'm gonna scroll down over here. It should say somewhere. Give me a second. Download this tracker in the release section. There we go. I'm gonna click that and download the zip file. 
Now, when the zip file is downloaded, of course, you will need a WinRAR or something like that, which I will also leave a link in the description, but I'm sure you have WinRAR. You want to unzip it here. It will take a little bit, not too long, because I'm pretty sure it just has to, like, get all the Pokemon pictures. You can get rid of the zip file. And now you have the Iron Mom Tracker. So, now it's time for the next part. Now, for the next part, we are back at the installation guide that I showed earlier. And what you want to do now is you want to actually download some prereqs. I don't know what that means. Pre-requirements, maybe? To say it over at step 2, install for BizHawk. So we already downloaded BizHawk. 2.8 or higher is required. And install necessary prereqs. So just want to click that. Um, download the zip file. Quickly, this shouldn't take too long. So we'll just do this all like this. We will then... Uh, yeah, I already have this downloaded. Um, how am I going to show this? I can show it quickly. Give me a second. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I already had it downloaded. Okay, so it will download like this, the prerequisite. You want to open it. Open this, this .exe file. I will not, actually, I can just do it. I, I think it's fine. I just want to do that. It's just like a Visual C++ update, I guess. Just want to download that. The chances that you even need this are pretty low. I did it. Um, my PC didn't explode. It's all fine. I'm joking. I'm joking. Don't worry about it. Look, it says completed, and that's it. That's all you have to do. So now for the next part. Okay, and I'm pretty sure this is the final thing that we are going to want to download. Again, I will leave a link in the description. Over here, the intro, this has the randomizer. Um, if you, of course, don't want your game to be randomized, you skip this part. I want to randomize my game. So you want to download this randomizer, ZX. And also, I mean, I guess you can install, update your Java if you haven't. Um, Nine times out of ten, you would have done that, so I'm not even going to show you. You want to click this. Um, you want to download the zip file. I will also just quickly do all of this. And look, it's already here. I'm just going to put it over in my tutorial box, um, box folder. My bad, because I think it's just more uh, useful to have everything in one folder. You don't have to do this. Um, you want to extract it. There you go. And we have the Nintendo DS. Uh, no, Poki Rendo ZX um, Randomizer. So we should have everything downloaded and what we want to do now is actually set everything up. This can be a little bit confusing, so I'm going to try to go pretty slow so you guys can follow. So we have everything in one map. You want to go to the BizHawk file, so your emulator. First of all, it will not look the same as mine at the start because I already installed the tracker, but that, that will be no issue, okay? You want to go to emohawk.exe. You want to open it. Again, it will take a few seconds. There it is. Um, we then want to also, I'm going to mute Emohawk as well. We are going to want to open our ROM, so our hard gold. There we go, we put it in. So it's loading. Okay, just want to check that everything is working. Um, I'll skip, I'm actually using a control. Okay, okay. Iron Man, perfect. So, what we want to do now is we want to go over to Tools. Now, in Tools, you will see this thing called Lua Console. Now, this for me was extra extremely difficult to understand. You click that and you see this screen. Very scary, right? Now, I did it the way the tutorial told me and it didn't work. So I'm going to show you how it worked for me. If this doesn't work for you, follow the tutorial. I, yeah, they, they explained here, okay? This for some reason didn't work for me. So I'm just going to show you how I did it. Now, I didn't do it that like special. I just did it. Um, where is my tutorial file? There it is. You want to go to um, your NDS Iron Mom Tracker. Okay, in there, maybe someone can help me actually. For some, like, you want to drag the .lua file into here. Oops, like that. Boom. A lot of stuff will happen. That's only the first time that will happen, I'm pretty sure. And now it says Pokemon Hard Gold detected. So we should have the tracker. And as you can see, if we minimize this, update 6.0.3. And there you go. You have the Nintendo DS Iron Mom Tracker. Now, we installed the tracker, um, we have our game. The only thing we're missing right now for what I want is to randomize my game. So I'm going to show that now. So you are in this screen. You want to randomize. It's pretty easy. You want to click this little wheel right here. Um, you then want to go to new run settings. Okay. Now, first of all, important. You can choose either use batch of seeds or generate ROMs. I will show you how to do the generate ROMs. Now, what this will do is every time you reset, so the new run combo is A, B, start, select. You can actually change this to do something more easy. 
And every time you press this, your file will automatically get re-randomized, so you don't have to randomize it every single time. So how do you want to do this? First, ROM creation, ROM to patch. You want to click set, and you want to click this file. Where is it? This file right here, the one we patched, so the one we're using. Okay. I'm gonna click that. I'm gonna go to tutorial, and this is the file we want. This. Okay. Open. Randomizer jar. Now this also for me was very confusing. You want to click set, and you want to go to the randomizer we downloaded. Now. This is where I went wrong. I was like, oh, I don't see a jar file. I didn't see that this, that this file is .jar. I thought it was a zip file, so I just extracted it. You don't want to extract it. Do not extract it, okay? You want to click the zip file because it's actually a jar file and click open, okay? And finally, the settings file. You want to click. All the settings should already be downloaded together with the Ironman tracker. Just want to look for the game. Um, I went just for hard gold, soul, silver, Kaizo. That's all I did. You also have standard survivor ultimate. I don't know what those mean. I'm just going to go with Kaizo. Click open. And I saved my profile. I'm just going to save it as TUT. Actually, I'm not going to save it. Actually, I'm going to save it. Why not? Okay. And there you go. So now every time you start a new run, it should um, re randomize. Now we are actually just quickly going to check that everything works. Also, be sure to follow the Discord because I got a lot of my information from, the, from their Discord. Um, I will also leave a link in the description if I remember. If you're going to go through this, I am a boy. Yes, there is my name. My name is A. Um, now, you should already know if it's working if most of the like stuff is skipped. So normally Lyra, I think her name is. Yeah, she like talks to you. She doesn't talk to me. So that's already working. I want to go in here. Professor Al doesn't even want to talk. I am just quickly going to save. Um, just so when I reset, I don't have to do a tutorial again. This is also something you can do. You can save in front of the Pokeballs and reset. And the Pokemon will be randomized every single time. So I'm pretty sure the first time... Yeah, so the first time they will be the regular starters. Don't be worried. So we're going to choose Total. It doesn't actually matter. We then want to press our buttons, which again, I will show you. Um, run settings. It's A, B, Start, Select. You can change this. Okay, I will show you later how to change that. Um, select, Start, A, B. Okay, as you can see, this will pop up. This is normal, okay? And your game should have reset it now. So I'm pretty sure now your game should always be randomized. So we saved. That is fine. And if we now click A, our Pokemons are randomized. There you go. So that is basically everything I have to show for you guys. I'm now quickly going to show you how to um, change the button input. Okay, so the... The, 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 the button input is actually very easy. You click on the settings wheel and you can change a lot of stuff here, like battle settings, all of this. Um, but you actually want to go to tracker setup. Okay, you, first of all, you can change all of these buttons, but you can also start new run. You can click clear, add the button. You can say, let's do L1, uh, not L, my bad, R, and I don't know, like B. And if you now go back, go back, and you click on those buttons, L, R, B. My game resets. I mean, I don't have proof that I pressed those buttons, but you're just going to have to believe me. Just to show you again, if you load in, this game should be totally randomized. Again, we had Sunkern last time. Yeah, we have Regirock. Nice. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope I helped you in this video. If I did help you, be sure to check out my Twitch. You know, I'm, I'm streaming over there. I'm doing an Iron Man um, challenge. It's, it's difficult, but it's fun. I'm sure to like the video, maybe subscribe. And let me know in the comments if you need more help. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.